At least that's what it seemed like. The dark beam is just really, really slow, like the regular shots. Dark visor. There's all data downloaded. Oh yeah, this lets us see stuff like between the dimensions. There it is. Hallelujah. This is literally just like x-ray visor in the first game, right? Like effectively it's the same kind of situation. We're doing it. Except it's dark, so I can't see it, what color the doors are. That one wasn't specifically a different color, but... Yeah, I was going to say the light, the light beam seemed pretty effective on that second phase. I just like how fast it is. Like how fast and straight your beam goes. It's really quite nice. All right, stick it in. So now we can go scoop up some stuff that we can uh, get with the grapple, right? <clears throat> As we make our way back to the light. Do speedrunners play this version or the Prime Trilogy? Or is it pretty even? Turn the energy to its temple on Aether. Alright, I can do that. We'll pick up some stuff on the way. See if we can remember some grapple spots. Interesting. The Wii version like slower? Metroid Prime 2 Rando. Because I think with the free aiming that you could make some some interesting shots that you wouldn't be able to on the GameCube. Yeah, that door is blocked off. Nothing else to do here, looks like. Guess we could refill ammo once we're down below. Go back and save. Ammo, I think, was this way. It's really hard to read this mini map on the in the corner here. I don't know if it's just like the resolution of my screen. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there's like there's probably tech that's exclusive to the GameCube one or something like that. Ammo supply replenished. Heck yeah. We're rich. We have so much ammo. Uh, do not step in that elevator. <laughs> I wonder if there's like loading differences too. Yeah, I do like this region. At least uh, more than the other regions we've seen so far. Maybe there'll be something like really, really good that I enjoy coming up. The music, especially in this area, in the light world, is so good. All right, we are saved. Where's our nearest portal? That one we can't use. It's just going to be straight on through, looks like. I have to remember, what was this? Was this something that we could... Mm, 
I, I want to double check this. I think this is a room that we didn't that we didn't necessarily finish. Can we grab this? Is that possible? Oh my god. That's beautiful. Oh, there's only three. Okay. Well, I don't think I held the stick after unpausing properly. There we go. Yeah, we probably could have made that. I just screwed it. Ow. It's fine. We don't need to see... Look at that. Not bad. Alright. Goodbye. Really don't like those guys. They're probably not as bad with the dark visor now that we'll be able to see them. But man, those guys can be pretty annoying. <laughs> without it. Just teleporting around basically. Unable to see them. Oh, wait, I was going to check that other room. Whoopsie. Hold on. Back we go. Right? This is it's connected here, didn't it? Yeah, it is the light door at the top left. It's quite easy to reach with this little little shortcut there this might have been a room that we finished but I don't think I think we got here and we couldn't proceed for some reason or am I thinking of a different room entirely just kidding this is where we got the boost ball 99% sure right <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm th I'm thinking of a different. There's like a side path somewhere that we didn't. We couldn't proceed. I think we needed the grapple hook. I don't know. We'll we'll stumble upon it again. Yeah. Like, look at this. Why is this beam so so hard to hit stuff with? It's crazy. I wish we could see that. All right, anything else sticking out that we might need to go to? Gloom Vista? Where does that put us out? Taurus Grove? Yeah, we'll we'll stumble upon it again if it's uh, something that we need to find. All right, cool. Let's go put this energy back in It'd be pretty easy to get there for the most part I don't think it really matters which way we go right let's just go through this dark door at the top here Little dude climbing out of the dirt. Hold on, what? Oh. My god, this music. Let me guess, they've locked the doors. Indeed. Alright. We got him this time. These guys are so much easier now that we can actually see them. Very nice. I guess with the charged dark shot, they're not too bad, but... God damn. Uh uh oh. Can we not can we not go this way? Okay, we can. 
I was a little worried that the water current would be too fast just because we've never we've never gone backwards to this area but it all works out look at this easy that wasn't too bad I love this rain. It's so cool. All right. Let's juice it up. Oh, camera really didn't like me going straight back there. There's two. There's the bow. Energy transfer complete. Very nice. All right, cool. Presumably we just go back to the temple and uh, check in and see see about the next area. I wonder if there's any grapple points. There's probably some back towards the temple that we can probably access now. I remember a couple rooms, but I don't remember where they necessarily are. Been a, it's been a minute since we've been back. So this takes us to Aegon Wastes. Where does that come out? Oh, this is the... Whoops. Jesus. I wish I could click on that and just have it show me where that connects. So that comes in there. Which is back by the portal. The Sand Canyon. We still can't get in there. This we needed Spider Ball. Just trying to take a look and see if there's anything we can access that I immediately remember. That we also needed Power Bomb. So the Waste doesn't really... I don't think there's anything there for us even if we wanted. However... Is the elevator close? Because that's to the temple. Yeah, we probably should actually just take that elevator. I think that's faster. Probably the easier way. Oh my god, we get stuck on the pipe. Yeah, so we'll come through, we'll go across, and then we'll drop back into the temple. I think that's faster than just going through the the bog. Although we don't get the dank music anymore. The Torvis bog jams. Oh yeah, 
is that portal. Yeah, it's a left turn here. I don't remember. Let me look in the dark real quick. I don't think there was anything we could grapple here. Just making sure while we're in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's a door we can't open. I think we're good. For the most part. Although I think the temple grounds had some, some spot we could grapple to. Might as well drop a save. It's very convenient. Shoot the lasers into us. Very nice. So through this room, we go to the left. Easy peasy. We're out of here. Nice and nice and quiet here. Not too much happening in this room. Weird little guys we don't need to fight. All right, easy. No wormies. That's okay. We've had enough of fighting the wormies. I'm not missing them too much. It's just nature, man. I don't want to kill nature. All right, let's take a quick look here. I thought for sure there was something around here that had a grapple point. Oh, yeah, there's actually a way we can. Where is it? It's in the dark world. This room, I don't really remember there being anything in there. Maybe there's something with the dark visor. That's the problem is I don't. I don't know if there's any indicator that something is hidden with the dark visor, right? This phase on pit has a grapple point that will take us to the other side. And I'm kind of curious about it. But at the same time, I've noticed this game sometimes does not want me to like get ahead of myself and and just go off. Um we want to go to the right here. Right up here. Yes. So I'm always checking my map. I just this mini map, I can't make much sense of it because it's very small. I'm deficient when it comes to looking at my mini map. Yeah, and then just elevate our way up. Uh, I guess I'm really close to. Let's just check this room. I'm, I'm curious if there was something. I mean, we're right here. We might as well take a quick look see. This was a room that like we went into and I looked around with my scan visor. I, I was like, I don't see anything special in here. So I'm curious if our dark visor will show us something. Just a couple rooms away, so we'll check it real quick. There wasn't even like enemies in here, I don't think. That's not the right thing. Oh, yeah, they're just kidding. There is an enemy. It's this guy. But I mean. Hold on. We should be able to easily murder these guys now, right? Am I hurting him even? Very hard to tell. If I'm dealing damage. These are the, uh, the what do you call them? The hunters or whatever, right? Hunter ing.
They remind me of the Hunter Metroids from the first Prime. Yeah, it, like when it goes, I can't even tell if I'm damaging it with the Dark Visor on. Oh, what? Okay. Just kidding. I thought that was the same the same thing we were just fighting. That's my bad. Flying cash or cache. Just objects of value. Oh, hey. Okay. I thought that was a hunter. That's my bad from afar. Oh. What do we have here? Sky Temple Key. What? Oh, this is the the game wide treasure hunt. Uh, is it bad if that's the first one I found? Am I going to be having a bad time later? When I'm like, I don't know where to find any of these. I wonder if they're all hidden in those those guys or if I'm going to find them just sitting in a room. All right. Is there anything else in here? I don't remember. Did we even do anything in here? Oh, I think there was something in there that we got previously. Maybe. Yeah, I think there was a missile. A missile expansion. I mean, I'm guessing eventually I get a way to kind of detect them. I don't remember. I have played this, but I, I played this a very, very, very long time ago. Like I said, I played this, I think, when Metroid Prime Trilogy first came out. Which was well over a decade ago, at the very least. You know, I'm like, I'm nervous. I'm like, do I need to always be looking into the darkness? Well, at least we got that one key. I mean, that seems kind of like an out of the way spot. I mean, I've played this before, but it's it's been a while. The only thing that I know is that like every Metroid Prime game has like this game wide treasure hunt, like the artifacts in the first game and the power cells in the third game. And then the Sky Temple key. I don't remember anything really beyond that. Oh, my God, dude, the hitbox is so bad. Ooh, there we go. It's very satisfying to kill those guys in one shot, though. I'm just assuming that they're going to give me something to make it easier to find them, because it would probably be a little annoying to just check the entire game with the dark visor on. <laughs> Only the bad parts. I remember a little bit more than that, but that's definitely something that sticks out in my mind is that every one of these games has something like that in it. Prime 3s I remember not being bad because you don't need all of them, I don't think. I think you only need like 5 of 7 or some something like that. Temple of Torvis glows, glows with energy once more. Only one temple remains. Travel to our fortress high in the cliffs. Here's a 3D model of it. The last temple lies in the fortress. Seek knowledge. Oh yeah, this is the big guy. Be cautious of the fortress. This place was once guarded by machines of our creation. Corrupted slaves of the Ing. You will not see you as a friend. Our goal draws ever closer. Light of Aether be your guide. 
Dude's ready to fight me. <laughs> You've weakened the enemy forces in Torvis. Aim now fear and loathe your name. Do not relent. Press on. Show the Darklings in sanctuary. No quarter. All right. I guess we're just going. Did I really even need to talk to him? He didn't really give me anything. I think typically they gave us like languages to help us uh, get into new areas. But that time he was just kind of like, all right, you can go. Does something happen and like is something blocked off if we don't go and talk to him? Because, I mean, we could have just not talked to him, right? All right, let's save up ahead. Then figure out where we want to go. Yeah, because we didn't really... We didn't really gain anything with that. I guess we'll just look around and see. I'm sure there's probably a grapple point. Maybe it is that phase on pit. That's probably going to be the first place I would think to check here. Thank you. 